Hey, how you doing? Welcome to December the 11th. It is a new day. Are you good? You look pretty fucking good. You do. Let's be honest here. I'm not fooling anyone here. Let's jump in the bed. I saw puke in my bed was in it. Um, yeah, welcome to December 11th. Um, yeah. I figure we should talk about last night's episode of... Sons of Anarchy, season six, season finale. How did we feel about this ending? Where do I start? Mm -hmm. Let's just say that it was really, really good. <laughs> really, really good. Um, it just escalated pretty fucking fast. Like, don't get me wrong, I love Sons of Anarchy, but it's not always entertaining like a lot of other shows are. You know, you look at Lost, and there's always so many different interesting ha things happening at once. Whether it's just, like, the, the character development or, like, the the mysterious things going on on the island. Or then, like, later on they start explaining some things, and then you're thinking, like, wait a minute. While this was happening, all this other stuff was happening, like, the stuff like that. Or then, like, in Breaking Bad, you've just got all these, like crazy moments building up these characters and stuff, and, uh, Sons of Anarchy to me just has a lot more boring moments where I'm just like, oh, no, no. it's cool, don't get me wrong, it's just, to me it doesn't do storytelling as, as well as a lot of other stuff, I'm not saying that it's a bad show or anything, it's a, it's a really entertaining show for sure, but, the finale was crazy, we got a main character death, um, and that's saying something for a show that doesn't really kill its main characters. Like, don't like. There's been a couple main character deaths, I guess. Like, the police officer, like the deputy sheriff or whatever. Um, there was him. There was uh, the best friend. There was uh, a bunch of other characters in between. But for the most part, most of the main members didn't die. And stuff like that. But they handle death really well in the show. They they do it perfectly. So when they kill off one of the kids who's been there since episode one, you know, it's a little crazy. And <laughs> it, it's one of those deaths and something where it's so real and, like, so, like, evil that you're just like, that's fucked up, you know? Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not disgusted or anything by it, but it's just, like, one of those, like... Oof. It's almost like you can feel it, sort of, like, you're, like, I don't know, you get, like, a weird reaction in your stomach, and it's weird, um, what was it, it was, like, a, it was, like, a meat skewer, or something like that, to the back of the head, multiple times, while being drowned, you know, it's such a fucked up death scene, <laughs> honestly, it's just, like, really, really fucked up, um, I don't really want to review this season, or even the show in general, just because I feel like I miss out a lot of the information, because I doze off from here and there, and, um, stuff like that. For the most part, like, for most of the show, I did pay, like, a lot of attention, but this season and the last season, I just kind of haven't been paying as much attention. Um, it just seems like there's too many fucking things going on at once. There's, like, the Irish guys are, like, fighting this guys, but then Jax wants to get out, but then he doesn't want to really get out, but then, like, he's writing a journal, and then, like... The Chinese people randomly come back into it. Same with the, um, the, what, what are they, what's the one, like, gangster gang called? The, uh, the Sevens or something? I love, yeah, something like that. Then they come back, and then their leader gets killed a bunch of times, and so now there's a new leader. Then the main leader is actually, like, this charity guy, and there's a lot of stuff going on. For sure. And they kill off another main character a while ago. Like what, last episode or the episode before that? Oh, show is in pretty crazy state right now. <sighs> and, um, Katie Seagal, man, she's fucking crazy. Crazy fucking bitch. Crazy ass bitch. Oh my god. I love it, though. It's definitely a good show. If you have not watched Sons of Anarchy, go watch it. Um, one second. You know what, I'll save that for... I'll do that later. Alright, um... 
I think that's basically it for Sons of Anarchy Season 6. I don't really have much to comment on. It was a pretty decent season, but... I don't really... I don't know. I guess we've pretty much gotten past all the, the crazy shit. Like, I've... For me, the, the main thing I wanted to see was Jax overthrow Clay and become the leader of the Sons. Live up to his name. Like, that's how... That's what got me interested in the show, is at the end of Season 1, um... Piney comes up to Jax and he says, it's time for change. Like, that to me was like the greatest moment of the show, pretty much. It was just like, fuck yeah, we had a slow-ass season, now shit's gonna get real. And it did, it got really good. For Season 2 and 3 were really, really good. Um, Season 4, 5, and 6, meh. That's the weird thing, like, Season 1, Season 4, 5, and 6, to me, they're, they're not that good, good, but like, Season... Two and three for some reason they just stand out really, really well for me. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Just go watch the show. It's not a bad show. We're gonna have to wait a year for the next season. That ends another show, so that means Walking Dead just ended, Sons of Anarchy just ended, and then Game of Thrones starts up in like a month or two. I think maybe it'll be March. I think I swear it's like February, or March. So I'm excited for that. Um, yeah. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna end the video here. I don't know what I'm even talking about. I'm pretty tired and stuff. Alright, by the way, I snowed a lot today. I like it. I want more, though, because I want to go snow shoveling, and I think it'll be fun. Alright, goodbye. Beep, 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 beep.